Hello, everyone. Um, this is Corey. I haven't made a video for this <laughs> this channel in a while, but I've been sick, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna try to see if this works. I'm using the GameFly Unlimited PC Play thing, so I'm seeing if this works. And as you can see, it's CSI. I don't know. I thought this would be funny. So yeah. CSI Hard Evidence. I haven't watched this CSI in a long time, so I forgot all the characters and shit. I watched the one with um David Caruso and uh the other one, New York with um Gary Sinise. So let's just do a new game. Uh, sure. <laughs> CSI Hard Evidence. <laughs> Magnetic Brush and Peloton. Welcome to the CSI Training Program. Yes. We have a special assignment for you. Your new supervisor, Gil Grissom, was working on an extended shift at the CSI garage when he discovered that his late-night snack, a cream-filled donut, had mysteriously disappeared. Fuck. Your objective will be to find out what happened to Grissom's donut. As your instructor, I'll be showing you the way we do things here at the Las Vegas Crime Lab, including using forensic tools and lab equipment. All right. To exit your training at any time, you can open your PDA, then choose Options menu to exit. The first thing you'll need to do is search the crime scene for evidence. All you can right. look around the scene by touching your cursor to the left and right edges of the screen. Sounds Note good. that when it is possible to move closer to an object, your cursor will change into a green arrow. Oh. Green arrow. Notice that there is a garbage can underneath the car. Let's move it out into the open. That's you can a... tell whether an object is movable if your cursor changes into <laughs> a green hand when moving over the object. That's a garbage can. Looks like a cup. There may be something inside the garbage can. Let's get a closer look. Let's see what's in this. Shit. When viewing an item up close, you can inspect the object from different angles by yeah. touching the top bottom, left, it's and like right edges of the screen with your cursor. Let's inspect this shit. Uh, to oh. back out of any close-up view, click the right mouse button or left click on the back button in the lower right corner of the screen. Uh, okay. Now, let's learn to use the tools. Yeah. Again, look inside the garbage can to view the paper bag. Alright, let's look in this shit. Oh. When you're close enough to use a forensic tool, the cursor will change into a toolkit. Selecting evidence while the kit is open will bring up your CSI tools. Bring tools out my fall tools. into two broad categories. Those designed for detecting or revealing evidence, and those used for collecting evidence so that it may be analyzed further. Moving the cursor over any of the tools gives a brief description of its use. Use the gloves to pick up the paper bag. Gloves are a collection tool that you will use often in your investigations. Gloves! Eh, I want this. I want the can. Fine. Eh. <laughs> piece of evidence. It appears in the evidence viewer. Here you can inspect your evidence for additional clues. To rotate your evidence, use the arrows to the right of the viewer. Did you notice the fingerprint smudge on the bag? Rotate the bag until you can see the fingerprint. Then use the Ninhydrin spray to detect it. The Ninhydrin is located spray. in the detection tool category. When you have fully revealed the print with the Ninhydrin, the fingerprint will automatically be collected. You can exit the evidence viewer by using the back button. Evidence you collect can be accessed through your personal data assistant, or PDA. Let's <laughs> open your PDA now. Let's open my PDA. 
With your PDA, you can view With your evidence, PDA. review the current case file, travel to key locations, or access the options menu. For now, select evidence. It's like her voice changes when she says PDA. It's like, let's look at my PDA. Your evidence is automatically categorized as either trace, documents, or items. To view the paper bag, select it from the items category. At any time during the case, you can inspect your evidence further or review what you know about it. The descriptions of the evidence will often update throughout the case, so check them regularly. Okay. Descriptions can be viewed by clicking the Details button. For now, exit the evidence viewer. I want to look at the details. Okay. To see the different locations in the game that you can visit, open your PDA and select Locations. Okay. Locations displayed on the right of the screen are CSI locations. Locations on the left are crime scene locations. Crime scenes are revealed as your case evolves. Tags will appear on crime scene locations to show your progress there. You can turn off this tagging feature by changing the gameplay settings in the options menu. This menu also allows you to adjust other gameplay options. You can travel to different locations by selecting them from this screen. For now, let's go to the lab to process your evidence. Processing my evidence. This is the CSI Crime Lab. Here you can analyze, compare, and process the evidence you collect. The lab includes the following <laughs> workstations. The An assembly table, a comparison the made me laugh. a trace analysis computer, a DNA analysis workstation, and a chemical <laughs> the analyst. PDA really you wants to appear. process the fingerprint that you found at the crime scene. To begin, let's move to the trace analysis computer. Where's the trace analysis computer? Is it this one? That one? Or the, I say now this select one. the computer screen. Then select fingerprints from the computer menu. Go ahead and select a fingerprint from the paper bag. Here you can search for similar prints in the CSI database records. You can also compare any two fingerprints to see if they are a match. If you find multiple fingerprints at a crime scene, it's usually a good idea to see if they match. In this case, however, you only have one print, so the databases are your only option. Go ahead and search each database until you find possible match results. Darn! Fuck. Next, select one of the search results. It will appear in the second viewing pane. I got that nigga. Here, we're matching a partial print to a full print. Select the partial print on the left by placing the cursor over it, holding down the left mouse button, and dragging the print into one of the four quadrants of the full print. Release the button to drop it into place. If the partial print does not appear to match, you can choose another quadrant or try another fingerprint. When you find the matching quadrant, select Confirm Match. Got that guy. Good work. The yes. fingerprint on the paper bag matches the prints of Officer Robertson, an LVPD officer. You may now bring Officer Robertson in for questioning. But first, let's review your case file. To review the case file, open your PDA and select Case File. The case file holds a summary of everything you've learned about victims and suspects. Select the Suspects tab at the top of the case file to learn about your new I would suspect. never have known since it is highlighted. Now, let's look at your Evidence Trinity. <laughs> the Evidence Trinity is a guide to measuring He's your like, progress I didn't in fucking case. Do it. What are you, you must talking find about? evidence that links the suspect to the victim, the victim to the crime scene, and the crime scene to the suspect. Finding enough of these connections will give Captain Brass the proof he needs to bring suspects in for questioning, gain search warrants, and eventually make an arrest. Now let's exit the case file. He's like, I didn't do it. He looks like a grown-up version of Sid in Toy Story. <laughs> I didn't do it. You all be one jelly donut, you piece of shit. 
Now let's head over to Captain Brass's office to get your warrant. Uh, let's go to Captain Brass. Let's see. It's the Brass. Okay. Let's see related to Captain Gold. <laughs> this is the office of Captain Jim Brass, who works with your team. His job is to do any <laughs> police so procedure you would need. He can obtain search warrants, put out APBs, or detain suspects uh, for questioning. Now let's ask Captain life. Brass for a warrant. Notice that when you move your cursor over him, the <laughs> cursor like, changes the into a speech want? bubble. This means you can talk to him. He's like, ah, uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> he's so. He's like, uh, yep. Well, there's no real need to get a judge involved if you're only looking for a missing donut. But since this is a tutorial. I'll have him brought into the interrogation room immediately. <laughs> it's self-aware! Since this is a tutorial... This is the interrogation room. When you are granted a warrant to bring a suspect in for questioning, Captain Brass will bring them directly to this room. Note that while a character is speaking, you can skip to the end of their current speech by pressing the space bar. You may now begin questioning you Officer Robert. You dumbass! Nope, not a clue. Well, I don't have any more questions for you. Well, sure, my prints are on the bag. I was the one who bought the donut. I left it in the car for him, like always. Never saw it again after that. <laughs> it's like L.A. Noir. I'm watching to see if you're lying, bitch. Uh, crumbs. Uh, th uh, those must be something else. <laughs> Look at his eyebrows. God, these eyes are really close together. I'm judging the guy in a game that came out in 2007. What is up with my life? A chemical test? What, you science types think you can match these crumbs to the ones left in the bag? Well, look, Grissom Jr., there's no need to go that far. I admit, I ate it, okay? Jeez, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I was really hungry. Grissom left that bag alone in the car for hours. I thought he didn't want it. So <laughs> I ate yep, the donut uh -huh. and threw the bag in mm -hmm. the trash. Look, I'll apologize and make it up to him. I, I promise. Just don't tell my wife. I'm supposed to be on a diet. <laughs> ah, dumbass. Congratulations. This case <laughs> is so sad. Closed. And remember, if you ever find yourself uh, stuck on a particular case, you can always talk to your uh, CSI partner and ask for uh, hints. Your training is now complete. To exit, select Options menu from your PDA. Good luck on your next assignment. Thank you. Options. Well, that was CSI Hard Evidence of Training. Stay tuned for part two where I actually do a cool mission. Woo!